Welcome my viewers and my listeners of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. This is Pastor Florence, all the way from Minnesota, and I have a word for you. This is a word that I, it has taken me almost two hours to prepare because God wanted me to give it in a very different perspective, in a different scenario. I know consistency is always needed and especially of the background. But I want to thank God that God will come to us in different ways. God will minister to us in ways we cannot understand. And blessed is the man who can be able to listen what God is ministering. I have no idea what could be going on in your mind. But I know there is something that God wants to communicate. The title of my message today will be the blessings of unity as you can see those are hands of different people different color different skin complexion it is my prayer that as you look you are gonna see be old hands just been put together in actual fact that is a background that's a picture that was but that was there many years for the United Way. And I asked my supervisor, can I pay for a copy of such? Riro did I know, even though it has ministered to me in different ways, that a time like today, November 13th, that God would place in my heart I share. Let us start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. I want to glorify you and to honor you, to give you glory for who you are and what you mean in my life. I pray as I minister that I may decrease as you increase. Holy Spirit, minister to that woman, to that man, to that Caucasian, to that Native American, to that Indian, to that orphan, oh, to that doctor, doctorate academically. Oh my God, I want to thank you and to bless your holy name. And as I minister your word, God Almighty, Use me as a vessel. That this word will go forth as you want it to be in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My words of reference will be from the book of Psalms 133. And I know you have already started to know what it says. And then Acts 1 verse 8. The blessings of unity. What happens when we unite? Hallelujah. I'm going to read from New King James Version. That chapter has only three verses, so you do not need to be tired of it. This is what it says. Behold how good and how present it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hammon descending upon the mountain of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessings, life forevermore. Hallelujah. Acts 1, verse 8. This is what it says. It says, But you shall receive power, when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. The blessings of unity. What happens when we unite? When you, I want to concentrate more, and I want you also that you concentrate more on that picture, that background. You see their hands there. There is one I see has a, has a ring on the ring finger. There, there, there is a hand whose fingers I see they are dark, really dark, dark like dark chocolate. And that's a right. And that's a, you can tell it's for a young kid. Oh, they look very nice, you know, and chunky. You can tell these are hands of different 
age group and different people from different ethnicity and they have different complexion of their skins but note what they are doing they are joining their hands together the blessings of unity my brother and my sister in a time that you always you're always driven or inspired to unite people there is some blessings that come. Also note, if there was something that was to come there, those hands are, those fingers are twined together because the hands are well overwrapping each other. When we remain in unity, be it in marriage, be it in our places of work, be it in our, in the, in our nations, be it in our communities, it will be very hard for something to come and start attacking us. When prejudice strikes in, Somebody will start feeling they are superior than other people and you forget. We breathe the same air. We breathe the same way. My brother and my sister, there is the blessing when we remain united. Blessings of unity. When you hear your brother of a dark corporation has been promoted to be a manager, oh, you don't start to question where did they go to school because it is not you who own all the institutions. It is they are owned by different companies in Jesus' name. When I look at those fingers, some of them seems like they are, I don't know whether they are ravid or something. Others are, oh my goodness, it's hard. But you see, as long as they are united, they have one common goal. May God help us to have a common goal, knowing that we are fighting the enemy. That is the devil. And that's why I like the word of God that says, oh, Oh my good that my goodness blessed be the name of the lord oh my brother my sister there is power when you unite when you see those hands they are united i don't know whether one is from a catholic denomination another one from a pentecostal another one from a uh, from a presbyterian another one from a methodist another one from a Lutheran. but there is none of those things that are written there or i can see our hands and fingers of human beings there is a being in you that has been created for purpose with by god so that we can remain united when you we unite oh the blessing of the Lord are commanded in our lives. First and foremost, there is a command of joy in your life. Do you know there are some people, even themselves, they are, they, they, you know, they are separated in the, in their own life. They don't know what do I need to do? Why do I need to do? They are not, they have not put, put themselves together. Have you had people saying, you need to get yourself together. You know, it is a time that it's a high time we know that you know that even you, your spirit, your body, your mind need to be tied to be together, lined up together. You read the word of God in proportion and in, in a good portion, in the way also you feed your, 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 your you know your mind. It is ridiculous that we can eat a lot of good food and we concentrate on the three types of food, the balanced diet, and we forget the balanced diet of our spirit, which is prayer, the word of God, and even communion of the saints. Mm. It is my prayer that you will get yourself together with your soul, with your mind, and with your body so that you'll be able to enjoy the blessings of the Lord. That, that are evidence. One of the characteristics that you have, you, you, you are together, you have you put yourself together is peace and joy. You don't have any bitterness against anybody for no reason. God help us. How about when you unite in our families? Uh, you feel, you know that uh, I, uh, we are working to a, com to a common goal, towards a common goal. It is my prayer that God will go into your understanding. We make this word so clear to you. That unity brings blessings. Unity is blessings. And when there is discord, one, is, one of the things that happens is you are angry for no reason. You drain away your, your strength for no reason. May God help us. Look at those hands. Suppose all this, I can't even be able to count how many hands were, are there of, of how many people. But it seems like each one of them have put one hand. Can you imagine if there is a interview panel and all of them are called to go for an interview except maybe for the small chucky kids i see there a child you are called for an interview and the one with the darker skin have a have 
more qualification than the one with the lighter skin. If you are doing the interview, what would you, whom would you give the job? Would you give according to their qualification, according to their physical outlook? Remember, God looks at the heart. May we be united, stay reunited, whether we are black or white, whether we are educated or not, whether we are tall or short. Yes, whether we are rich or poor. May God help us to know that we have been called for unity. And when there is unity, there are blessings. Those blessings not only come, but they are commanded by God. Imagine the Bible says in two, it, it, uh, verse 2, It is like the precious oil upon the beard, running down in the beard, the beard of Aaron. Oil smoothens. I don't know about you, but when I, when I clean dishes with hot water, my fingers, my hands start to dry up so quickly. And on the sides, I think they are called kakras, they get so painful and they protrude. Do you know that when you apply oil, that oil would smoothen your cracking skin and you'll feel good. When you remain together, the Bible, you know, liken it like oil running down to smoothen our talk, to smoothen our emotions, to smoothen our... Oh my goodness, to, to, to strengthen our originality, to strengthen our integrity, to strengthen our respect for each other. I do not want to continue more, but I know there is something God is whispering to you. Now, verse 3, the last, the last part it says, For there the Lord commanded the blessings. The Lord will command blessings of joy. Yeah. Blessings of peace. That when I prosper, you will rejoice and you know my blessings is yours because I'm part of you. For we are all part of the body of Christ. May God help us in our families, in our community, in our places of work. That we shall remain, remain united in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your word. May you continue to water it that it be a blessing to your people. Them that have been driven by prejudice. Oh, I pray that you forgive them. May they know you as a, new, as a new person. For the Bible says that if any man is in Christ, is a new creature. Take over, dear Lord. Continue to order this word in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You are there. You have been overtaken by prejudice. You look at people and you say, oh my goodness. Those are not of my class. And in my book, Fear Not God is in Charge, there is a chapter I have covered. Fear not because you are tatters. You could be an immigrant, or you could be a citizen, wherever. Do you know we are all citizen, citizenship, citizens of heaven? We are sojourners in this world. So may God help you. It all starts with a personal identity. You are there. You have always struggled because people don't look like you. There are times I look at people and it's even without them speaking anything. You see the way they look you with eyes. It is my prayer that after this message, they will know the blessings of unity. If you want to be blessed, if you don't want to be overcome, come to by, uh, be overcome by anger, by jealousy, it's better you regard other people with the respect. Uh, you want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Thank you for your wonderful word. I trust you, Lord. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. As I leave you, I pray that God will continue to minister to you more and more in more details that unity brings blessings. Oh, the blessings that come because of unity. Oh, the blessings of unity in our own lives, in our families, in our churches, in our nations. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. I love you and God loves you. The more that we continue to celebrate with joy all the time because every moment counts. In Jesus' name, remember to subscribe to my channel of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy and check on my music. The newest one is Open a New Page, Oh Lord. God bless you.